Hello guys what's up, so I'm back again for another tutorial video. So in this video, I will gonna show you how you can download and play Doki Doki Literature Club for free on your PC or laptop, so if you are interested then keep on watching. But before all that, if you are new to my channel consider to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and also, you can comment down below if you have something that you want me to make a tutorial about. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. So to download and play Doki Doki Literature Club for free on your PC or laptop, it's actually pretty easy, just follow what I'm gonna do. By the way guys, before we get started, I want to make an important note that this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. It contains mature themes and sensitive content that may not be appropriate for everyone. Please make sure you're comfortable with these warnings before downloading and playing the game, but if you're still unsure, I highly recommend checking out the official content advisory provided by the developers. And with that said, let's now dive into how to download the game. So for the first step, I want you to go to your Google Chrome or any web browser on your device. And once you're on your web browser, next, you will need to go to the official website of Doki Doki Literature Club, since that's where we can download the game. So just go and search this on your search bar. Make sure to enter it correctly so you will be directed to the website. And after searching, you will now be on the website. So to download Doki Doki Literature Club on this website, just scroll down and then you will now be able to see the download option right here, just go and click it. And then here, although the game is completely free, but you can decide if you want to donate some money to support the developers of the game, but if you don't want to, just go and click this. And after that, you will now be directed to the downloading page of the game. So just select any download buttons here depending on your device. In my case, I'm using a Windows laptop so this is what I will select. And after that, the zip file for the game will now start downloading. This zip file will contain the installation file for the game, so just wait for it to finish. And once it's finished, you can now click the zip file to open. And once you've opened the zip file, I want you to open this folder. And here in this folder, you will now be able to see all the files of the game, including the installation file. But before you click the installation file, you will need to extract this zip file first. So to do that, just click this extract button right here. And after that, you can now extract the file. But before you click the extract button, I want you to make sure that this option is checked or enabled since this ensures that once the zip file was extracted, you will be directed to the extracted version automatically so you won't need to waste your time finding the extracted version of the file. And once you're sure that the option is enabled, you can now click the extract button. And after clicking it, the extraction process will now start, just wait for it to finish. And once it's finished, you will now be directed to the extracted version of the file. So for the next step, I want you to select the game file. And once you've selected the game file, next, I want you to right click it. And then go to show more options. And after that, there it is guys, you will now see the create shortcut button here near the bottom of your screen, so just go and click it. And after clicking it, you will now have the shortcut version of the game, so you can now drag the file to add it to your desktop home screen. And then there you go guys, it's done, congratulations, you will now have the game installed on your desktop home screen so you can now start playing it. And so that's just how you do it guys, now that you've watched this video you can now do it yourself. So that concludes our tutorial video for today, I hope it helped you, thanks for watching, goodbye.